Why does this drill have tens of thousands of five-star reviews? It really sucks. So for today's curiosity, I will do a deep dive on this popular beginner e-file. Does it deserve the hype, the five stars, or is it really worse than one star? So for around $20, you can get this beginner e-file kit. It comes with the handpiece, a cord, which there's two cords to choose from. You can choose the USB plug-in cord or the direct power cord. I have the direct plug here. There is a starter bit set with diamond bits and a mandrel bit, and they give you many sanding bands to go with the mandrel bit. So let's just dive right in into the Rosie report. We'll start with the roses. What is great about Melody Susie? So this drill is called the Sheen drill, and it is really strong motor, quote unquote, according to the company at 20,000 RPM. It is surprisingly quiet with low vibrations. It is compact and easy to put away in a desk drawer. What really drew me into this drill is that it's super beginner budget friendly and available at Amazon for only around $20. So it retails for $26, uh, but on Amazon it is around $20. And right now there is a 20% off bringing it close to the price I paid, which was $17. It has tens of thousands of reviews, so around like 68,000 reviews. Whether or not those five star reviews are real or bots and fake, I don't really know, but that also led me to choose to buy this drill and use it. What I really love is that this company is really solid. They've been in business since 2009 and they are a bestseller of quote unquote salon quality drills and UV lamps. They have a warranty for 30 days and six months. So you just pay shipping to use the warranty if anything went wrong. So here's the part you want to hear. This is the thorn. There's actually several very flawed thorns, which is like a serious deal breaker. And I no longer use this drill for these reasons. Number one, these are terrible diamond bits that they give to you to start. So just take my advice and throw them away and keep the little case it really don't remove anything and it causes extreme heat with the friction number two the mandrel bit and sanding bands uh, work for like one nail or two but then they'll get really clogged and cause a lot of heat with the friction again you're better off buying a new mandrel and proper sanding bands and if you're going to be a professional nail tech anyways, you should not be using sanding bands because they just don't work that well and you should be using different coarse bits for removal. I do understand the allure of sanding bands though. They are really easy to use and beginner friendly. So if you do decide you want to stick with sanding bands, just buy something that is more professional and the abrasive is higher quality so it doesn't get clogged. Or just stick with a hand file because it's about the same amount of time that it takes you to file. Thorn number three. So there's actually hella vibrations and it is not low as they claim and it causes extreme fatigue. So you get tired much faster and it makes it much harder to use since you're gripping the handpiece really hard to overcome these vibrations. I really don't recommend for that. The second worst flaw is that it is not strong enough. It is a really weak motor. So if you're gonna be removing hard gel or acrylic or even soft gel, that is what I use, it will stop the drill if you apply too much pressure. This is because, just because they claim that the drill can do 20,000 RPM, it doesn't actually mean it has high power, which is calculated by torque, which they don't tell you. So you know that the torque is actually really low and it doesn't have power behind the spin. If you need an explanation of torque and power and like the power of a drill, check out my other video that, that talks about my review for a professional nail e-file or nail drill. Okay, and finally, 
the last thorn which is the biggest deal breaker that caused me to give up on this drill after using it only one time is because the chuck mechanism causes the bits to wobble so the bits will spin off center when you use it uh, so you might be like what is a chuck and a chuck is the mechanism that holds the drill bits in place to the drill as it spins so the melody suzy uh, sheen drill and many of their other drills uses the simple design called the keyless you just shove the bit into the opening and you turn it on and it will hold it because there's the silicone lining to hold onto the bit the pros models use the twist chuck model it is a twist lock and the grip is always very strong and is very centered so the flaw is you can't control how far in or out your bit goes. And so it is also harder to control the bit because it is spinning off center as you use it on your nail. So the wobbliness cuts your nail too much or too little because it's off center. And it also causes extra vibrations as you work and extra heat from the friction. And so I feel really sad I wasted $20 on this and time and effort and bad nails. So take your advice from me and learn from my review and do not buy this drill or anything that has a keyless system for the handpiece. I feel like these are the nail drills, quote unquote drills, that give gel nails a really bad reputation of damaged and weak nails. It is because so many people buy these tools and use them incorrectly not knowing how it should be because they have no experience and they don't know the proper procedure and the proper accessories like bits that go with it. So please don't make my mistake, don't fall for the cheap price, do not buy this. And the only, only instance I would recommend this is if you want to do press-ons. It comes in really handy when you need to gently buff the inside of the nail tips before you apply it on fingers. Uh, otherwise, I really cannot recommend this for any removals, um, like, you know, removing your soft gel, hard gel, acrylic, etc. You will need to do a full soak off to avoid damage. So you might be like, well, what do we do now? I can recommend buying a professional e-file, even if you're a beginner, hobbyist, or nail tech student. Um, check out my review on the professional station e-file. It is the best and really affordable, actually. So of course, it's not going to be $20 because it is what the actual pros use but it is affordable compared to all the other professional drills. So if you want to go to with Melody Suzy for the price, they do have some e-files that use a twist chuck locking mechanism. So just look out for that and buy those instead. Their higher end models come with glowing reviews. And then so did this one, the Sheen one for $20. So let me know if you've tried any of the higher end models with a twist chuck and if it was powerful and should I give Melody Susie another shot? Let me know down below and I'll see you in the next curiosity. Bye!